Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from the City of Angels, California. In front of me today, I have a box of 2019-20 Upper Deck Credentials, which should be eventful. It's a new product with essential potential. Uh, so let's blast it open, guys. By the way, guys, uh, if you can't check out Captain Puck gets break of this stuff, he popped open a couple of boxes, one of which he'd had a couple of barley pops, kind of entertaining, check that out. So what do you need to know about this product? Uh, there are the on-card debut ticket access autos. It's like Panini Contenders and there are groupings and tiers within this somewhat complicated product. Configuration, six cards per pack, eight packs per box, 48 cards, total base set, one through 50 only. Debut tickets would be 51 through 150. There are parallels, there are red, green, purple, and black parallels. So within a box break, we should expect 32 base cards, uh, eight star of the night or rookie science cards, five base parallels or debut ticket access cards. We should get at least one non-auto acetate or metal substrate, um, substrate, substrate. That's base material that an organism can live on or you would print on, something to that effect. And we should receive at least one auto. So one auto minimum, maybe potentially two. And just keep in mind that the rookies are tiered one through four, so that's something uh, that we should be cognizant of. And the rookies, of course, would be your Jack Hughes, your Kale McCars, your Quinn Hughes, Kakos, Glasses, uh, Victor Olofsons, etc., etc., Adam Fox, and of course, I'd be looking for Pelling. And let's uh, unseal the deal. Boom. It's a nice package, actually. I really like the color of this thing. So let's go, 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 guys. Let's see what's within this new product. It looks pretty nifty. And again, it's like Contenders, uh, which is fairly well uh, known and stated. And we have Pedersen right off the top, kind of nice. Uh, these silver, this looks a little bit like the late 90s uh, upper deck cards with the silver on the uh, borders. Back the card, not bad. Elias Pedersen, Johnny Hockey, credentials, uh, base card. And our first hit uh, would be a Philip Myers, who has been pretty solid in his debut. Um, um, is that an auto? I don't think you can have two rookie credentials or rookie sciences uh, back to back. I'm tempted to save this if that's the case. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save this until the end of this row. <laughs> I don't want to auto right off the top. I don't know if you have a rookie uh, credentials auto, whether that means you have two autos because you're guaranteed one of the other ones. I'm not really sure how this product works yet. I'll put all that stuff under the video as I typically, traditionally, usually, generally do do. So let's continue on, guys. We have a Patrick Kane. We have a Drew Doughty. And our first credential start, a star of the night would be Brian O'Reilly. Nice, very, very clean looking card. I like it, like it quite a bit. And a did you know on the back. And we hit a Capo Caco. Look at this. Look at this crazy thing. Uh, that is nuts. What a cool looking card. What a cool five of six. Huh. Awesome an Eric Stahl and a Brent Burns. So this would, in fact, and I was wondering, would be one of the unannounced cards, guys. Uh, kind of cool. We hit these, I think, about 6.7% of the time, and we hit the Capo Caco, which is the one in the window um, on Cardboard Connection. So we hit one of the unannounced cards and Capo Caco, no less. Continuing on, guys. Uh, pretty eventful already. There's Claude Giroux, there's Jack Eichel, who's been lighting it up. Uh, we have a Brady Keeper, uh, rookie science card. Uh, these are really kind of cool looking cards. I really like the horizontal look. And then we have a couple of our debut uh, access cards. So we have a Zach McEwen, uh, there you go. And we also have this one of Carson Tversky. Uh Nice. Really, really nice, these ticket-looking cards. And there is your base, Crosby. Torinsky was a, what was he, third rounder in 2016. By the way, your um, draft order in 2019 was Jack Hughes, Capocacco, Kirby Doc, Bowen Barham, Turcotte, Sider, Cousins, Broberg, Zegris, and Put Colson. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, so we have Sebastian Aho, we have Jamie Benn, we have this rookie science, a rookie science of Hirose, uh, we have another one of the debut ticket accesses, Colin Blackwell, number to 999. Uh, I must mention that the McEwen was to 699, right? Uh, 
Barzell and Max Domi. Max Domi's. Great fire Max Domi. <laughs> Let's do our auto, uh, seeing as we are uh, at the end of that row. So Johnny Hockey, we have Pedersen, uh, the Myers as I mentioned, and this I think is an auto. I might be completely wrong unless they, I mean they might line up two rookie sciences in a row. Uh, here, let's just see. And let me see. And that's Barrett Hayden, guys. And is it an auto is the question. Yes, it is. Okay, it's a sticker auto. Not bad, guys. Uh, drafted fifth overall. So the Habs could have drafted him or they could have drafted KK. They opted for KK. He lit it up in the World Juniors, as did KK. But uh, not bad. Uh, what, about 20 NHL games under his uh, belt at this point? But he looked great in juniors. So high hopes for this cat. Actually a very solid one and he's a center. So I must say this auto is really nice. Nice tight auto. I like it. Uh, and the Matt Duchesne as well as the Kucherov. So we hit an auto. Now the question is, is that our only auto? I don't know uh, if it's a certainty, given the fact that it's not a debut access, but we shall see. And we have Jonathan Tace, Captain uh, Sirius. There's McDavid. And here is our star of the night rookie. Uh, and this one would be Noah Dobson. Noah Dobson. Kind of beautiful. Uh, Nicholas Haig, Phil Kessel, and Dylan Larkin. So those rookie star of the nights, I believe, uh, deliver 40% of the time. This one feels thicker, I don't know why. Uh, I don't think there's any, there aren't any user packages in this product per se, so who knows. Uh, Patrice Bergeron, we have a Marc-Andre Fleury, there's Flower. Uh, oh, we have a red one here, which looks kind of cool. So we have a Brad Marchand. Um, I don't know why I have so many runes. Mark Shifley. And uh, we have this rookie science of Gusev, who has been lighting it up this year. He actually has looked really, really good. Uh, and now what's this thing? The red, red parallel. Ooh, so we do have a daily ticket access, and it would be numbered to only 99, one of the reds. Uh, Cody Glass, nice. Really, really nice. Very solid one right there. <clears throat> Two packs left, guys. And continuing on, Brady Kachuk, uh, the king. We have another rookie science, and this one's another Kako. So it's our second Kako, guys, including the unannounced card. Oh, <laughs> we have two autos in this. We have the Trent Frederick, uh, numbered to 65 -0 only uh, nice so two autos within the box I can't complain guys uh, Frederick uh, is a bit tough he's not a, he's not a wimp I can tell you that much uh, cool and it's a nice on card auto so I guess the Barrett Hayden was a uh, was a bonus Seth Jones and Jordan Biddington uh, you're guaranteed one auto and then I guess if you get one of those weird uh, insert -y type autos then you are guaranteed a second one uh, continuing on guys, not bad at all. There's a bread man I have in my pool. It's just amazing. Blake Wheeler. Uh, we have a credentials, a star of the night of John Tavares. We have an OV number two, 199. So this is, uh, looks golden and red. Nice. The gold foil and we have Backstrom and Malkin. Okay guys, time for the recap. So we did receive some 32 base cards, which would amount to 64% of the base cards, only 50 cards in the base set, including all the big names like Flower and McDee and Kane. Uh, these cards actually remind me a lot of the 1998-99 upper deck cards with the foil silvery things on the side. Uh, pretty cool, pretty neat, uh, pretty substantial. Boom, base cards. And then with regard to our debut ticket, rookies. Uh, so here you go. And notice that we have the team, we have the position, we have the jersey number. Uh, this card's number to 99. We have the Torinsky, we have the Blackwell, we have the McEwen. We have the Nick Haig, who's a large mammal. He's like 6'6". He is a force of nature, I believe, third rounder. And Cody Glass. So this would be number to 99, a red parallel of sorts. Uh, sixth overall, looked great with the Wolves. Looks, uh, looked amazing with our World Juniors. So we'll, we'll see about him. Uh, so there you go. 
And with regard to our Star of the Night cards, we hit the John Tavares, we hit the Pure Pass Ryan O'Reilly, and no Dobson, uh, which would be a rookie version. Those rookie versions, I believe, are 1 in 20, so that would be what? That would be 40% of the time. So boom. I believe we get 8 of the Star of the Night and the Rookie Sciences, so we receive 3 plus 5, so that makes complete sense. Uh, we have the Keeper, we have the Hirose, we have the Philip Myers, who I've really liked. Uh, Gusev as well, and then Kako. So we actually hit the Kako as well. So these are uh, a pretty nice batch of cards. Uh, we also received this red parallel, totally forgot, uh, number to 199, and it would be OV, uh, who's eighth all time in goals, just like his jersey number, coming up on Gartner, Esposito, Dion, Hall, etc. etc. We also hit one of the unannounced cards, uh, Provisions. A Statue of Liberty routine, Capo Caco, five of six, which would uh, be the number of players on the checklist. These are one in 120, so it'd be 6.66666% of the time. Boom. We actually hit two autos, unfortunately. So we hit the Trent Frederick uh, hard sign auto, number 65, which means it's a red parallel. Uh, he was a 29th overall in 2016. Tough customer has, I think, 17 penalty minutes in 15 games, something to that effect. So there's the Freddy. And the hit of the box is this thing here, which is this Rookie Science uh, Auto. It reminds me a lot of Full Force from 2015-16. These are in groupings. Uh, group C, it's one of 7-11, which would amount to 1% odds. Uh, and this cat was a fifth overall. He was dynamite with the World Juniors. Uh, played about 20 NHL games at this point. Uh, he's one of the best centers from the 2018 draft. Not the thickest, deepest draft, but we'll see how he does. Uh, kind of cool, really, really nifty looking card. I love it, absolutely adore this card. So that's basically it, guys. I recommend this product. It's big, bold, beautiful, tons of rookies, guaranteed an auto, tons of parallels, good stuff. Uh, so please be sure to sub like, hashtag, draw app, new full cards, live and direct from the city of Angels, California. Yeah.